Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Are you feeling better, Pedro? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you sound. I like feel good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you can think now. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm excited about the class. What about you? Um, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, nice. Excellent. All the right. problem is only the weather. <laughs> I know. It's the so weather hot. is hot. It's so hot. Yes. I hate it. <laughs> yes, all the day. <laughs> I know. Yeah, in the afternoon it was horrible. I was yes. walking. Oh, it was like two blocks in the university, and then I was like this, you know, like sweating, and then I was like, "This is horrible." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Pedro? Did you go to work today? Yeah, yes, every day, teacher. Every day. <laughs> you don't have a uh, incapacidad, or yes? No, teacher, no feels in my <laughs> in, in my position. <laughs> I in in I close in my office only that. Ah, okay. <laughs> and use a Pedro mask. is a Strong man. Yeah. yeah, Pedro is a very strong man, I can see. You like to work a lot, like yes, yes, yes. Sometimes, but yesterday I I, I feel uh, <laughs> in the uh, very bad. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I was looking for a sentence here that I, that I wanted to share with you, but. I don't find it, anyway. Let's see, what are the others? We're missing Josue, we're missing Saida and Ivania, right? They disappear now. <laughs> yeah, they disappear. <laughs> They don't want to have English classes today. <laughs> Congratulations, finish the course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we have Josue. Hi, Josue. <laughs> we were not talking about you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Only ask for uh, him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Josue. How's everything? Hi everyone. Good night. Good evening. So we were discussing that where are the other people and they told me that you were in a restaurant drinking a beer and something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Only we have two people right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They were telling me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How well, was your day? How was uh, how was uh, Mr. Pedro? How was healthy? Yes, but I little a better right now. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah, he was singing. Yes, he was. I singing recognize well. that voice, right? Uh -huh. I recognize that voice. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he was singing to us a few minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> he was singing. Good to me. He was singing too, so I think or something like that. Ah, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good to know that. <laughs> All right. So we will begin. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, this is almost the last class, okay? Tomorrow we're going to have the last class. So little by little we have finished, okay? And uh, you have been working uh, very hard, people. You have been doing a lot of uh, efforts to be here, so I appreciate that. Okay, that you have um, that you have done a lot of efforts. So uh, we're going to do a short review of yesterday's class. Okay, and then we're going to do a game. We're not going to do the simple past 
a game today because I have another game uh, that we're going to use with the, with the present perfect, okay? And you're going to see that it, it will be very easy. So on Monday, we were using uh, yet, just, you know, and already we are not going to use that today. Uh, today, we're going to practice this part, okay? We're going to use never, ever, and before, okay? Uh, in what cases, in what type of sentences am I going to use never? In affirmative, negative, or questions? Negative question. Negative form. Negative sentences, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What about ever? When am I going to use ever? When asking a question. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. When we are asking a question, okay. And what about before? Mm -hmm. I try to explain <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. when the event realized is uh, in a period, a period of time uh -huh. of recently. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit similar to that. Okay. It happened yes, before. In the past. Mm -hmm. It happened in the past, but we don't say exactly the, the time. Uh -huh. We don't say exactly the time. Okay. Yeah, that, that can be good. Okay. That, that's fine. Uh, also, we use the uh, the present perfect to talk about past experiences, okay? And we say a number of experience, okay? For example, three times, two times, uh, once, okay? So it depends on your uh, it depends on your on your experience, okay? So we're going to see um, two examples here. For example, I have been to Costa Rica before. I haven't been to Costa Rica before. I have never been to Costa Rica. Okay? So uh, those are the two ways in which we can use before and never. Okay? Before and never. Uh, if you see for before, um, I am using haven't. Okay. And also I can use it in affirmative. Okay. I have been to Costa Rica before. I haven't been to Costa Rica before, okay? And now in the case of never, I don't need to use before one more time, okay? I can keep it, I can keep it simple, okay? Let's see, the next one, my brother has been to Honduras, okay? My brother has not been to Honduras before and I, I my brother has never been to Honduras, okay? So we were practicing this and also we made some questions, okay? Uh, have you ever visited a hospital? Have you ever uh, played? Uh, sorry, I made a mistake over here. I have, uh, have you ever played bowling? Okay. And the answers are yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or yes, I have played bowling before. Or, uh, no, I have never, I have never played bowling, okay? And then we have some other questions. So before we start playing, um, by the way, we were also using a number of times. For example, I have been to Guatemala many times, okay? I have been to Belize twice or two times. I have driven a truck twice or two times. And I have always gone to my work with my coworkers, okay? So let's see if you remember how to answer this question. I have only two questions here, let's see. Number one, have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Let's see, Anna, have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I have been, I have sent uh -huh. a message with the other person. Ah, okay. Um, uh -huh. The last week. Uh -huh. Maybe, I don't remember very, very well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, uh, yes, in that moment, I sent a message to my brother and I sent from the other person for my friends. And uh, then uh, at the end, uh, at the end of the day, when my brother arrived 
to my house uh -huh. and I ask for that uh, favor you uh, I asked to him and uh -huh. my brother told me what happened uh, I didn't receive I did I didn't mm -hmm. send to, to me the message and at the end uh, I checked my phone uh, uh -huh. in that moment I <laughs> my su surprise when I checked my phone and uh -huh. my room when that uh, sent the message uh the other person uh -huh. <laughs> so you sent uh the message to your friends and not to your brother yes ah, okay <laughs> Yeah, my my mother does this all the time. I think sometimes uh, she thinks uh, she's sending a message to a friend, and she sends me the message. Uh, and he said she sends me the message, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And she's like, ah, "I'm sorry, I made a mistake." <laughs> okay, yeah, it happens a lot. Okay? That happens a lot. Let's see, Pedro, have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Uh, let me see, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I um, uh, yes, teacher. I I I think um, sometimes mm -hmm. or twice mm -hmm. uh, uh, messenger to the wrong. <laughs> A person in five years ago. <laughs> and what happened? What did they say? Uh, only put in the it, it's the same company, but uh, she um, she uh, told me and and uh, and uh, uh, she. Uh, uh, the word, mm -hmm. the word, the, 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 the email, and mm -hmm. put the, uh, the mistake. I I, I didn't uh, the coworker. Ah, you didn't send it to the coworker. <laughs> uh, it's a Honduras company, but it's the personal. But the name is a same. Name. It's the same name. Ah, maybe that was the problem. It's a, uh -huh. the, the second, but. Uh -huh. it, or this that confusion. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, let's see, Josue, have you ever sent a message to the wrong person? Uh, yes, teacher. I have sent a message for to the wrong uh, team or the wrong uh, group of chat in my cell phone, right? Uh -huh. yes. And what did you write? I remember it was a bad word. I, I remember. <laughs> yes, it was very funny because in that chat is was the to the co-workers a chat of, of my job, right? Uh-huh. And I was too afraid for uh -huh. see my my boss, right? Uh -huh. So <laughs> your boss was, was in the group too? Yes. Oh wow. And I and I had to to run and and try to to raise the the message, the message. Right? in WhatsApp, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, that happens a lot. Okay. Yeah. I remember once I took a screenshot, you know, of a chat. Yes. And then I sent the screenshot to the same person. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, I was like, oops. <laughs> I was taking a picture because that word looked beautiful. <laughs> yes, I know. Or maybe you say, uh, this, my phone is... Uh, it's it crazy, doesn't right? Work right. It doesn't work well. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, my cell phone is crazy. I didn't know. Yes. I, I don't know what happened. I don't okay. know what happened, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, the yeah. second question. Have you ever yes. eaten rabbit? Anybody? Have you ever eaten rabbit? Yes, I had. I ate rabbit two when? times in ah. Usulután in ah. my uncle's house. Ah, okay. 
So yeah, in that case, is I have eaten rabbit twice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's delicious. Uh-huh. Okay, nice, nice. What about uh Pedro? Have you eaten rabbit before? Yes, I uh, I eat them and rabbit uh sometimes and in uh, in the salpicon too. <laughs> in salpicon, yeah, salpicon is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about uh Josue? Have you ever eaten rabbit? Uh, no, teacher, I have never eaten a rabbit, but I would like to to eat, right? Ah, uh, have you ever eaten a uh, salpicón? Ah, yes, I have ever eat, eat, eaten a salpicón. But it was not rabbit or it was a uh, cow, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's a, a cow. A yes. cow, yeah. Yeah. Usually they prepare it with 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 rabbit and not with cow. Uh -huh. That is more popular. <laughs> oh. So maybe you maybe you have eaten and you don't know. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right. So if you see, that's very simple. Uh, it is very easy how we can uh, answer those questions. Okay. So I have uh, this game over here. These questions are sorry with how you ever. Okay. Have you ever? So let's see. Uh, Pedro, choose a color. Uh, choose a uh, red. Red. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me prepare the die. Okay. Let's see, Pedro. And the others, okay, we need to ask more questions, okay? About, uh, about Pedro's information. We're going to ask uh, extra extra questions, okay? For example, if he says that he has gone to Guatemala, just to tell you something, maybe we can ask more information about the, the, the about Guatemala, okay? So that's the point about this game, okay? Okay. And you ask more questions, okay? So Pedro, you have two points. Let's see. Um, Pedro, have you ever watched a baseball game? Um, oh. uh, yes, I, I have watched uh, a baseball. A baseball no. game. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have it. I, I, I haven't. I haven't ah. baseball game. <laughs> ah, okay. No, so. I, I, I think so, uh, basketball, but no, it's baseball, no, I, I ah, haven't. Ah, okay. So in that case, the answer is I have never watched a baseball I have, game. I have never watched a baseball game. I prefer the football soccer or the basketball. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, remember, uh, remember, um, Pedro, it's I have never or I haven't watched. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, okay, Jose. We, okay, the answer was negative, so we cannot ask more questions. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Jose. Oh, two, two. <laughs> what color do you uh, want? Okay. Uh, color green. Green. Ah, that green. was my favorite color. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> uh, have you ever watched a baseball game? Uh, no, teacher. I have never uh, watched the baseball game. Okay. So what do what do you prefer? Okay. I prefer uh, watch uh, another sport like um, basketball mm -hmm. and football. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's see, Anna. Ah, come on. <laughs> okay, five, <laughs> Anna, five. What color do you want, Anna? Black. Black, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, Anna, have you ever worn a hat? Have you ever worn a hat? Mm. 
Do you know what I a hat is? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. No, I haven't. I ah. never worn, worn, worn a hat. Okay, nice. Okay. Would you like to? Would you like to wear a sorry? Would you like to wear a hat? No, I don't no. like. <laughs> ah, you don't like them. Okay. okay. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. My turn. I'm going to be color uh, yellow color. Okay. Let's see. Three. One, two, and three. Have you ever traveled by train? Uh, yes, I have. I have traveled by train, let me see, many times. Because I lived in the United States for one year. And uh, the city in which I lived, uh, it had a train, okay? I lived in Minnesota and uh, they had a train and it was very fun. <laughs> It was like my first time traveling by train and by train, sorry. And it was really, it was really nice. It was very modern and uh, it was very fast. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see, Pedro, one more time. <coughs> okay, five. Pedro, you are red, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Pedro, an interesting question. Have you ever cooked dinner for someone? Um, I, uh, I cook, uh, I cook uh, uh, sometimes in the dinner in my home. Oh, but for someone, for someone special, okay? Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh, yes, I have. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I have cooked. I, 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 I have cooked the dinner somewhere. Okay. For someone. Okay. Uh, remember, cooked. Okay. Cooked. cooked. I uh -huh. have cooked. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Uh, what did you cook? Um, <laughs> the. the uh, Eggs, a scrambled egg <laughs> with wow. uh, tomato and, and <laughs> pepper and um, uh, flour. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, some uh, snacks, principal snacks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> the easy And one. a little pizza, in a little pizza too. <laughs> ah, okay. Nice, nice. Uh, and, and who did you cook for? Uh -huh. Who did you cook for? For your wife, for your uh, son, uh, for, for your daughter? my wife and, and children too. Ah, and okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's see, Josue, your turn. Yes. <coughs> okay, one. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Josue, have you ever traveled by train? Yes, teacher. I have uh, traveled by train. In, ah. uh, yes, uh -huh. in, in uh, remember, uh, Sonsonate City. Ah, uh, the, uh -huh. the, that, that, uh, the people in the, in the, in the that place uh -huh. uh, build a uh, maybe it's a attraction right or something uh -huh. touristic uh -huh. and they put two or three in three wagons of train uh -huh. and you take a, a rider right ah okay okay nice. it's, it's good oh. i recommend you ah when did you go and some sonate and i went i went to in a remember August uh, 2000, uh, the, the last August, right? Ah, the last August. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, nice. And uh, was it expensive or was it cheap? Uh, it was uh, cheap, only uh, $2, I remember. Ah, $2, uh, okay. Yes, because the... the it um, is a short attraction. It's a it is short a short, yes. It's ah, a short, okay. short ride, only uh, 50 minutes, 
remember. Ah, okay. Or 20. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that's yeah, good. This is I mean. a, it's a song you can see around the uh, cafes, um, the food, uh, typical food in Son Sonante. And you taste all that uh, food, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Let's see, Anna. Okay. okay. Two, Anna. You are uh, black. black, right? Ah, Anna. Have you ever <laughs> cooked dinner for someone? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. I Tell us. Cooked um, dinner for someone on a special occasion. I uh -huh. remember a long time ago when I invited my boyfriend and mm -hmm. I cook for him and I remember cook and uh, that duck with orange. Ah, duck with orange. Yes. Oh, fancy. <laughs> nice. A long time ago, teacher. A long ah, time ago. <laughs> but, but, but you can remember how to prepare the duck. Yes, in ah. a special moment. Ah, but duck is expensive, yes. right? Yes, almost. Ah, okay, okay. And did the person like it? Yes, but um, in that moment, uh, he told me it's very delicious that hmm. duck with uh -huh. orange. Uh -huh. Maybe, I, uh, actually, uh -huh. I don't. I don't know if that answer came to ask told to me or answer yeah. to me i don't know if the correct answer or maybe for apologize uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> like i'm going to say yes right <laughs> yes <laughs> okay. nice nice but that's good i mean that's a different a, a different thing okay many people yes. prefer chicken or meat you know but duck is yeah it's yes it is like for a very special occasion okay nice <laughs> All right, let's see my turn. Five. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, have you ever been to another continent? Uh, not really. Okay, only in America. <laughs> yeah, I would like to go to Europe. And also, I would like to visit. Um, uh, Japan or Australia too. I like I like those countries, but right now only America. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money to go to Europe. <laughs> All right. Yes, for travel to Europe is very expensive. <laughs> I know. It is, yeah, you have you need to have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So these are some questions in which we use ever. Okay, in which we use ever. Um, Remember, when we answer in negative, we say, I have never, or I haven't, and then you say the activity, okay? For example, I haven't traveled, I haven't watched, okay, etc. And we are going to practice this again tomorrow, okay? Because this is another uh, nice way to practice have you ever, okay? Have you ever, all right? So let's continue with the topic. Okay, we're going to see those questions uh, tomorrow, okay? So the last part about the present perfect is unfinished situations, okay? So a situation that started in the past, but it's still in the present, okay? You haven't finished, okay? You haven't finished. And uh, for this, mm, uh, we're going to practice the first one that is lately, okay? Lately. Lately, I will say that it's very similar to recently, okay? They are like synonyms, okay? They are like synonyms, lately, okay? For example, I have an, an example there. We have been busy lately, okay? Or recently, okay? So that's something that has happened in the past, but it, it is still happening in the, in the present, okay? In my case, I have been uh, checking exams lately, okay? So I checked exams in the past, but I continue doing it 
and I have to continue because I haven't finished, okay, yet. But I will, but I will finish, okay? Uh, what about you? What's an activity that you have been doing and then you don't finish? Mm -hmm. Or it can be an adjective too. I have been very hungry. I have been very um, patient. Uh -huh. I don't know. And she has been watching the, the program in the TV. Ah, perfect. She has been watching the program on the TV. Perfect. Okay. On the TV. Uh huh. Lately. Sorry. <laughs> lately. Okay. Lately. Yeah. Uh huh. Lately. One example more using lately. I have been listening to music mm -hmm. lately. Perfect. Okay. Lately, uh huh. I have been listening to music lately. Okay. So if you see, I am using have been. Okay. Has been in this case. And have been on the third case. Okay. So if you see, we started something in the past and we continue doing uh, that action. Okay, so that's how we use. That's another use that we can have uh, for uh, the present verb. Okay, situation that started in the past and have not finished. Okay, then uh, we can use also all and then a time expression. For example, all my life, all the month, all the day, um, all the year. Okay, so we're going to use that, the next one. Okay. We're going to use all plus time, okay? For example, I have lived with my parents all my life, okay? That's me, okay? What about you? I have bought um, expensive board circuit, circuit board. I have bought expensive uh -huh. the circuit board. Uh, I have bought an expensive uh, circuit board. Expensive, uh -huh. the circuit board. Uh huh. All what? Um, in I bought an expensive circuit board. In, um, yeah, because in this case, uh, you need, work. yeah, but you need to finish the, the sentence using, for example, all the day, all the month, all the week, um, the yesterday, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but you need to use the word all, okay? And yesterday, uh -huh. Uh -huh, you don't have. Ah, okay. Yes, 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 teacher. You should. Uh, I have bought an expensive circuit board, or um, or today. Or ah, okay. I have bought an expensive circuit board all the day. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Another question, another sentence, sorry. I have played soccer with my my brothers when I was a child. Ah. Mm. Oh. No, in this, in this case you need to mention, uh, because- I have that... played soccer with my brothers. Uh-huh. All what? You need to say the, the, the word all. For example, all the day, all, all the week, all, all my life, all the year. All my life, ah, maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All my life, okay. Okay. So sometimes. Maybe... Uh -huh. Sometimes, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. What about Josue? Can you give me an example? OK, 
Okay. Or, for example, I was thinking of another one. I have um, I have checked my email all the day. Okay. So, for example, in the morning I check it, and then uh, one hour later I check it again. Okay. And then during lunch I check it again. In the afternoon again. Okay. And then after the class again, okay. So I, I have to check many emails. So I have I have checked uh, my email all the day. Okay. So remember, you need to use all the day, all the week, all the month, all the year, or all my life. Okay. So we have different uh, we have different examples there. Okay. Uh, and the next one that we're going to see is for and since. Okay, for and since. Okay, and then we're going to see uh, some questions over there. For and since. So, how do we use uh, for and how do we use since? Um, in this case, we're going to use uh, since. Okay, that's the first one that we're going to learn. Since we're going to use it for a specific period of time. Okay. For example, I have lived in Metapan since 1993, okay? Because that's the date in which I was born and I continue living in this place, okay? So it has to be an a specific time, uh, an a specific time, okay? Or a specific month and a specific day, okay? For example, I have uh, I have practiced the simple present with my students since Monday. Okay, so Monday we practice, Tuesday we practice, today we practice. Okay, so it is in a specific time. Okay, it is in a specific time. Can you tell me some examples? Mm -hmm. I have learned English uh -huh. uh, since. Uh -huh. ja January 4th. Okay, perfect. Okay, since January 4th. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Another example using since. It has to be in a specific time. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about I you? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have things. Uh... 1999. Can you repeat, please? I have cooked since 1999. Okay, I have cooked since 1999. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. What about Pedro? Can you tell us an activity uh, that you started in the past and you continue doing now? Okay. Okay, I have uh, talk. I have talk medicine since I I am sick these ah, okay. three days. Ah, okay. So I have taken. Remember that I have, last part. I have of taken medicine. medicine. Since, since uh let's see that will be monday right since monday, yes, I uh -huh. monday. Uh -huh. okay perfect perfect okay and finally josue can you tell us on the yes uh -huh. i have worked in a promerica band since 2019. okay I have worked in Promerica, like that, yes. right? Promerica, Promerica yes, Bank. Yes, Promerica since Bank. Since 2018. 2018. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to see how to use for, okay? And actually we are going to use the same sentence, okay? We're going to use the same sentences. In the case of Metapan, I'm going to use for and I'm going to do it like this. I have lived in Metapan for um let's see 27 years okay 
So do you see the difference? Since it is on a specific time. And when I say four, I say the number of years, okay? Or the number of days, or the number of weeks, the number of months, okay? So that's how we use it. Like in the case of Anna, I have learned English since January 4th. How can you change that for using, uh, or to use for? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Anna? Oh, uh -huh. I have learned English for 45 years, uh, days. Ah, for 45 days. Yeah, days. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's see. Um, let's see. I have cooked since 1999. How can be the same? Me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you said the sentence. Uh huh. I have cooked for how I many years? I have cooked for 20, uh -huh. 20, uh -huh, 20 years. years. 20 years or? Yeah, 20 years. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. 21 years. <laughs> or 21. Yeah, 21. 21 right. years. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, twenty-one. I'm not good at math. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I don't like math. Okay. That's why I'm a teacher because For doing I don't. my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let's see, Pedro. You told me I have taken medicine since Monday. So how can I change this uh, to you for? Okay, using for I um. Is a, a same sentence or different sentence? No, the same sentence, but you're going to oh, use four. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm taking medicine for two days. Okay. Mm -hmm. For two days. Excellent. Okay. I, I hate the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you hate the medicine, really. Okay. <laughs> uh, and let's see if Sue is not here, but we're going to do it for him. Uh, I have worked. In Promerica Bank for what do you think? How many months? Mm -hmm. How many? What do you think? It says 2018, but we don't know if he started in January, if he started on February, March. What do you think? Do you know that information? Uh -huh. Do you know that information, guys? Like uh, in the case of Oswe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For 11 months, maybe? For 11 months, okay. Uh -huh. Probably, okay. We don't know. <laughs> We're going to ask him when he comes back. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, now, if you say, if you want to say, like, uh, we have like different options. For example, I have spoken Spanish since I was born, for example. Okay. I don't I I, I know that when you were born, um you didn't talk, okay? But it's only a, a sentence so that you can have the idea. I have I, spoken I have spoken Spanish all my life. <laughs> uh-huh, okay. So and yeah, I all my life. Spoken Spanish for 50 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that can be one. Yeah, I have spoken Spanish for 50 years. But also, you can say this I have spoken uh, Spanish forever. Okay. Uh, forever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forever. Okay. So it's like um, all the life. Okay. Or all my life. Okay. Uh -huh. Forever. Mm -hmm. Forever. That's why we have that phrase, forever. Okay, forever. Um, yeah, so this is how we use since and for. Okay. Uh, or it's possible it to say, mm -hmm. teacher, teacher, uh, yeah. uh, it's possible to say, and, uh, and the for, and the for, 
for a long time or for a short time? Yep, that's also possible, okay? For a long time and for a short time. Even you can say um, minutes, you know, for 20 minutes wow. or 10 minutes, for example. We have been in class for 46 minutes, okay? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's also possible. As long as you're using a number, when you're using a number, uh, but you know, like a, like a number of years, a number of days, a number of months, that will be four, okay? But if it is very specific, in that case, yes, you need to use since, okay? Since. Mm -hmm. And finally, according to the explanation, we have questions using how long, okay? How long? For example, how long have you been here? Oh, I have been here since, uh, let's see, since 3 p.m. and you are not here, okay? So that is very specific. If you want to say the number of minutes or hours, ah, I have been here for four hours or for three hours, okay? So that's how we change, um, that's how we change the, the time, okay? So I'm going to write that. How long, okay? How long? And that is for questions, okay? For example, how long have you been, no, how long have you studied English? We have two options. You can say since, or you can say uh, for, okay? So what do you think? In your case, how long have you studied English? Let's see, Anna, how long have you studied English, Anna? I have studied English for six months. Okay, for six months, excellent, okay. For six months. What about Pedro? How long have you studied English? Uh, how long have you studied English? Um, I studied. I have studied. Uh -huh. I have studied. I have studied English um, one month. Four or since? Uh, for, for one month. Uh -huh, for one month, okay. Or if you want to use since, in the case of Anna, you can say since 2019, okay. Or mm -hmm. since October or September, I think. Maybe. Maybe, right? Possible. Uh -huh. Okay. Or in the case of Pedro, I have studied English. I have studied since English since uh, January. 20, since January. 2000. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Since January 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Another question. Okay, how long have you been married or how long have you been single? Like in the case of Pedro, you're married, right? Yes. So how long have you been married? Okay, um, I, I, um, I have, I have been married. Uh huh. Uh, twenty, twenty, twenty-one years. Four or since? Four. Oh, for 21 years. Excellent, okay, for 21 years, uh-huh, nice. Uh, a long Anna. time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a long time, yeah, for a long time. <laughs> what about Anna, are you single or married? I'm single, I'm single. Ah, how long have you been single? <laughs> how long? Mm. Uh, I have been single, for two years. Ah, for two years, okay, okay. What about the teacher? Uh, how long have you been married? Well, I am not married and I am not single. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I am in a relationship, okay? And I have, and I have been in a relationship for two years, uh -huh. for two years. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right, the next question, the last one. Uh, 
how long have you? Let's see. In your company. In your uh -huh. job. In, in your company or in your job. Uh -huh. Okay. What about I, Pedro? Mm -hmm. I have working uh, in my job for for 20, 24 years. Wow, a long time. <laughs> All my life. <laughs> All your life, yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's nice that you're still in your in your is is that your first job or no it's a it's uh -huh. a it's a four job my first uh, job is um teach a uh, hope teacher in, in in a college and the second in the uh, textile manufacturing primo mm, uh, okay del Valle is a manufacturing textile too, and uh, and uh, finish right now in the company Fruit of the Loom is in the American Park. Ah, nice, nice. Good to know it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, nice. What about Anna? Ah, uh, in my case, and at the moment I don't work ah, for the company work. because. Okay. I'm housewife. Uh, ah. I take care of my father. Ah. My father is an old man, and he has a difficult disease. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. And in your and previous job, and in your previous job, how how long? Uh, how in my previous job, I have been working in a work in the last job uh -huh. for six years for in six this years. company yes ah okay nice nice in my case i have worked in the university for five years okay i have my first job in the university and i and i continue working here <laughs> so yeah i am very lucky uh -huh. i am very lucky uh -huh. all right so if you see uh, that's how we use uh, the present perfect. Okay, so these are the three uses, or the three, uh, the three, yeah, the three uses that we can have for uh, uh, the present perfect. Okay, it all depends on the type of question that you have. Okay, so that you can answer. But the important thing is that you don't remember to use have or has. Okay, and also the verb in the past perfect. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, I'm pretty sure that right now you have a, uh, maybe you have a question, teacher, what is the difference between the present perfect and the past, okay? Because they sound a little similar, right? They are a little similar. So tomorrow we are going to see what is the principal difference between the present perfect and the simple past, okay? And actually we are going to see two sentences that are pretty similar. But in meaning, you're going to see that the meaning is a little bit different, okay? And that's what we are going to practice tomorrow, which is going to be the last class, okay? Okay, so, okay teacher. Yeah, remember that you will have, well, uh, today we asked, and you have until Sunday to finish the platform, okay? You have until Sunday. However, if you can practice and you can do uh, more activities, you know, or more exercises, uh, you can do it, okay, so that you are not doing anything like very fast, okay? So take your time, okay? Remember about these rules that we have practiced, and you are going to see that everything is very easy, okay? So okay, have a good night, everybody, and I hope to see you tomorrow in the last class. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.